hello in this video let's talk about um, how to do the installation of sql server uh, 2022 this is the recent version as of today which is running in the market so i'll be showing you the free version of sql server 2022 installation on my personal laptop so there are two free versions we have in the sql server one is the developer version which you can use it for your uh, <coughs> Uh, practice and all and there is an express version also we have in the market so let me show you developer version which comes with them um, all the features where you can practice or where you can um, try something so let's quickly uh, go to the browser okay so let's uh, type for uh, sql server 2022 free download or you can put it as a download so once you search for it so by default you get a microsoft link uh, in the beginning okay so there might be different links as well at the bottom so but you will be redirected to a microsoft link uh, the first link and let's click on that sql server downloads so where you can see <coughs> the microsoft data platform and so on and even you have it by sql server 2019 as well and even you can see in um, uh, read the performance uh, security azure connected features of sql server 2022 as well <coughs> okay here you have like a, a couple of other options sql server on azure sql server at the edge sql server on on premises so let's uh, sc scroll little down so there is all download a free specialized edition <coughs> so here you have a developer and you have express and you can read out sql server 2022 developer is a fully featured free edition licensed even we have licensed for use um, the development and test database in non-production environment or you can have a uh, express as well in the sql server 2022 express is a free edition of sql server ideal for development production and <coughs> desktop web and small over applications so let's click on download so once you click on download so you you get a uh, um, actually a copy of like this the sql server uh, 2022 ssei uh, uh, exe so once it is downloaded okay so let me click on it for uh, to show actually once i click on it so it, it shows uh it redirects to a separate page and it might be uh, downloading again here okay it's already downloaded and again it's a 4 uh, mb of file so let's come to the uh, file here <coughs> so let's double click on it so it it might take a while to do the installation that we'll try to um, you know, cover as much as we can so here uh, once you click double click on it <coughs> so you get a um uh, actually this screen so basic custom and download media so you can see it like you can read out select the basic installation type to install a sql server database engine feature with the default configuration select custom installation type uh, to step through sql server installation wizard and choose what you want to install <clears throat> so better to go with this okay so if you if your system has enough space and enough um, capacity of ram so then better to go for custom i just selected a custom <clears throat> then by default it required a um, a media location to download the file so media required uh, around um, uh, 8 uh, gb of free space required and the download file of around um, 1.1 uh, gb around 1188 mb so let's click on install so it, it is downloading now it might take a while so let us see what we can try to cover here okay so let's let it download still it is downloading so let's wait for uh, more a couple of seconds yeah, still downloading
<coughs> yeah so download uh, successfully completed and once the download is completed you get this screen actually so here if you see it's, it's a kind of little old screen okay the planning in the left side and installation maintenance tools resources advanced and options so let's go to the installation it's a bit old screen only so in the installation so there is a option to do the new sql server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation so by using this option you can do the new installation of sql server 2022 or if you already have a existing sql server 2022 you can add features by any chance if you miss in the earlier installation so let's click on this so once you click on this you get one more uh, window so where uh, you may need to uh, progress actually so if you see there was a one more window uh, asking us to wait please wait while sql server 2022 setup process the current operation yeah so if you see so you got a screen like it was asking like a specify a free edition so either developer version evaluation version or express version so i want to go for a developer version again it's a free version for us to do the practice and uh, test actually so let's select that and click on next so once you click on next so by default uh, it asks for the uh, like a kind of license uh, uh, terms and conditions something like that so let's click on this i accept the license terms okay and there is a option to click next click on next and again it's a kind of information window let's click on next so it, it is validating uh, the supporting files and all okay so almost out of five uh, validations like um, so four are kind of passed and one is a warning it's default actually nothing to worry let's click on next so once you click on next so uh, it was asking like um, Azure extension of a SQL server. Okay, I, I don't want uh, for time being. I later I'll do if I want. Let's unselect this. Okay, so let's click on next. So then, so you get uh, this kind of feature selection window. <clears throat> so the, again, this window is again a common. If you know SQL Server 2019 or SQL Server 2016 installation. Okay. So now here let's select what else uh, uh, you are looking for actually okay apart from the sql server it, it is uh, asking like uh, either you want sql server replication and data quality services polybase and so on actually okay so i i don't want anything okay so for time being let me select this click on next okay i think i need to select one let me select uh, any of it a uh, database engine services at least i need actually okay uh, let's select database engine and uh, if, if you want polybase again sql server 2022 has a um, uh, feature uh, to use polybase even you can directly upload or, or like uh, you can use s3 connectivity and all okay let's select this uh, click on uh, next okay and it is asking for a named instance the reason is i already have a sql server 2019 on my pc so that is the reason why it is not proposing a default instance it is asking for a named instance so i am going to uh, tell the name as sql server uh, sql 2022 <clears throat> okay just to say it is a sql server uh, 2022 version okay so now so by default when i give a name here by default it comes here and uh, what are all the uh, uh, features i am getting here based on the selection like it it comes here Okay. so let's click on next so once i click on next you can see it's here like what is happening polybase next step is polybase configuration next server configuration and so on okay so here it was asking sys specify a port range for polybase services six or more ports required so uh, it's 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 by default it is giving these ports those ports are free in my uh, laptop i'm okay otherwise if these ports are occupied or if you want to give any specific range for the polybase then you can give it that's not a problem so let's uh, let's click on next so once i click on next then it is server configuration so here uh, by default like um, so your agent will be running on this account and uh, database engine will be running on this account and polybase running on this this and so on if you want to change this one you can change otherwise okay so let's click on next so once you click on next then so on what mode do you want to uh, allow the people to use this sql server so you can go for windows authentication but i go for mixed authentication 
when I say mixed authentication, it allows SQL Server, Windows authentication as well as SQL Server authentication. So then, so the by default SQL authentication uh, for uh, the username is SA. Okay, I need to give a password. Okay, so here I need to specify. So, but please make your note whatever the password you are keeping, <coughs> and also add current user. Okay, current user would be the administrator by any anyway. I am making it. Okay, and also I am keeping SA as a admin actually. Okay, so SA by default and password I kept it. So let's click on uh, next. So once you click on next, see now what are all the features you have been selected and what are all the changes uh, uh, are going to happen in this uh, this installation. This will show you kind of uh, information. Okay, so and it, you can see it ready to install SQL Server 2022. Okay, with all these uh, what based on the selection. If you see Polybase service name as SQL PD PBDMS and account name is this and uh, startup type is automatic something like that. So if you see I showed you what are the account name which is planned to use. So if you want to change later I uh, mean if you want to change uh, during that time you can change otherwise if you want to change later that is also uh, possible. It's up to us now. So let's click on install now. So it might take a while okay uh, because it, it required to uh, uh, get all the uh, features installation and all. So let, let, uh, let's let uh, wait for a while. Uh, uh, so this installation happen. Yeah, so in installation almost completed. Let's click on OK. Yeah, if you see installation successful, so let's click on uh, close. So this is how we do the installation of SQL Server 2022 developer version with the required features on a Windows uh, uh, 10 operating system. So we'll we'll talk about how to connect and what version has been installed on the server in the later uh, sections. Thank you. Thank you for watching.